Hey guys, it's Cole here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a locking door. Look what we got here. We got our door. Seems pretty simple. Oh. Well, luckily I know the password. Ting ting. And. Boom. There we go. Go through the door. Now we're on our secret cave or whatever. Now, the way this works is quite simply the current is pushed through here and onto this side of the wall over here now it goes over to this now it needs to be exactly five ticks and each time you push this out more it, it decreases the amount of ticks it makes it stay on longer now it's one tick there and four ticks here one two three four so that's five ticks they all have to equal five ticks if one is less than five ticks then it, it just it would not work because it will be activated too soon now this mechanism here is a is a basically a filter it takes out it, this first of all this string brings in in 10 ticks this filters out 8 ticks it's it's been put to 4 here 4 here and then this is one tick so now we've got only one tick will pass through here so that's how it filters out it and and I don't know if you've known this, but when a sticky piston is activated and it only has one tick of power, it will always release whatever it has. So we'll see that. Boom. Oh, yes. It's because I've been screwing with this. But yes, that's how it works. So, I'm going to show you how to make it. should be pretty simple, but I'll still show you. Start off with your wall, where you're going to place your password thing. Um, you can have it as many as you want, but it, it doesn't matter, really. You just have to make sure that you know the password. So, the longer the password, the more you're going to have to memorize. Um, and place your button on that side. Bring it over, bring the string out over here, push it here. Place a block down, a block down over here. This is where your eight filter is going to be there. Make sure they're at max. Then place a redstone torch there, redstone torch there. Boom, boom. Redstone wire on top. Block on top of this. Do you see how it, it activates it? Because it brings the current through the block. So the block has to be there. Then you have a redstone torch there, which you'll notice will be activated. Then you bring the current from the redstone torch down to wherever you want. You can make any other mechanism with this, this setup with the pistons, but I'm just showing for the doors. Now you've got your door mechanism right here. Then you're going to want to set your password. So I'm just going to Go ahead and make it a pretty simple password where they don't have to actually do anything. Then touch it, boom, it shoots it out. And that's how you make it. So hope you enjoy this tutorial.